we're going to be testing some parts of your brain that have to do with balance and dizziness, and we test this with eye movement. So I want you to follow this target with your eyes. Don't move your head. All right, this is gonna swing from side to side like a pendulum. Hold your head still, follow with your eyes. You're going to see these stripes moving from one side of the screen to the other. I want you to count them in your head as they go by. Don't say it out loud, they're too fast. Beautiful. And they're gonna switch direction in a couple seconds. Keep it up. Count them in the middle of the screen. There we go. Now I can see your eyes. Perfect. On the count of three, we're gonna lay you back. One, two, three, lay back. Just let your head rest there. Keep your eyes open for me. Perfect. So if you had loose crystals in one of your semicircular canals, your eyes would be bouncing all over the place on the screen. So we'd keep you here for about a minute. Keep a hold of you just in case you get dizzy. This is testing other canals in the ear. Go ahead and move your head to the center so you'd be looking at the ceiling. Go ahead and turn your head to the left. For this part of the test, we test the horizontal semicircular canals of the inner ears directly. And the way I do that is with temperature. In the old days, we used to use cool or warm water. Now we use cool or warm air because it's less messy and it does the same thing. So it's a little bit loud, but with the head at this angle, when I cool down her ear with just a, a stream of air from here, it will make her feel like she's spinning away from me. And then the effect wears off as her ear warms back up. And then we would give her a little rest, do the other ear, give her a little rest, and then do each ear with hot air, which would make her feel like she's spinning towards me. So this is how it goes. So I'm looking at the eardrum to make sure the air is going where I need it. And about 20 seconds in, she would start to feel like she's floating or spinning. If people don't get dizzy here, that's actually a bad sign because that means their ears not working properly. But if they get dizzy, that's what we want. And we compare one ear to the other. Looks like your eyes are starting to, yep. <laughs> starting to move. Try and keep your eyes open for me. We might get some glamour shots of the, of the TV screen once it gets going a little better. So the eyes are pulling to her right and having a little corrective jerk to her left. And that is what nystagmus is. That's what we're testing in this test. So since the corrective jerk is to her left, she has left beating nystagmus and it means she feels like she's spinning to the left. Aww. Eyes open, keep them open, we keep measuring. So it's fading off. Go ahead and stare at the red light. Try and make it hold oh, still. It yep, the motion of the eyes reduces a lot when you have something to focus on, and that's also a good sign. So that's that's what I do during a VNG test.